you know, the presidential race is in its final days, and the women's vote is crucial to the outcome. Here to talk about what this election means to women everywhere, please welcome 1950s housewife. Thank you, Steve. I made you banana oatmeal cookies. Oh, well, thank you. Mmm. <laughs> They melt in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pig fat, dear. I use the whole can of lard. Mmm, now all I need is some milk. With full cream. Thank you, Victor's housewife. <laughs> now, <clears throat> let's discuss the economy. Oh, well, Steve, I'm not really worried about the economy. My husband gives me a good allowance. I get $2.35 a week. Well, actually, 50s housewife, not all women get allowances. Some have to work. Oh, gee. I've been Mrs. Warren Watson so long, I sometimes forget. Don't worry, girls. You'll find a good husband to take care of you. Just choose the right shade of lipstick, and you'll have a ring on your finger in no time. 50s housewife, which candidate will get your vote? Mitt Romney. I think he'd make a swell husband. I mean, president. 50s housewife, are you concerned about Mitt Romney's anti-choice position on abortion or his vow to end funding for family planning and insurance coverage for contraceptives? Steve, you're making me blush. We all know that good girls and boys don't push their beds together until they're married. <laughs> but let's just say that you had a friend and that friend was in trouble. Well, then the man who put that bun in the oven better marry her. Or some girls go to those back alleys that I read about in Ladies Home Journal. Let's move on. Why do you support Mitt Romney over Barack Obama? Oh, golly, Steve. Just last night, my next door neighbor and I were clearing the dinner dishes while the men were having their scotch. And we agreed that Mr. Obama's wife, Michelle, just doesn't know her place. I think the president should have put her over his knee four years ago. That would have taught her to pay less attention to the national budget and more to her husband. I mean, she can't even keep Brock's collar buttoned. The poor man, he looks like he's going to work in a steel mill. If she can't manage that, can you imagine the mess she's made out of the White House kitchen? No. <laughs> Let's move on. Romney will handle foreign policy as skillfully as his buttons. Oh, yes. I mean, he's the only candidate that even mentioned the Cold War. I'm glad that he reminded us that Russia's our number one geopolitical foe. We can't let the commies win. In fact, I think my neighbor's with the KGB. She never makes eye contact. Okay, 50s housewife, let's try some domestic issues again. How do you feel about gay rights? Oh, I'm so glad you asked me that, Steve, because I don't see what the big deal is. I think all people have the right to be happy. That's not what I meant. So, never mind. Thanks for the cookies, 50s housewives. Ladies and gentlemen, 1950s housewives.